Hey, this is the shorty for the wound care disaster. Uh, so I just did a two part and if you want to see the first part just go at the link at the bottom and it will bring you to the longer version but this is the short part so let's get started so basically what we'll be talking is wounds that you can get in disaster uh, most likely we're going to be talking about three major categories so light is vibrio and lepto and uh, some of the treatments that comes with them uh, again before I start my video just want to mention that uh, if you have any of those those are for situation when there's a disaster that happens so during Katrina or things like that where a medical help cannot be maybe there and you would be pushed to take kind of decisions or um, uh, pushed to do things that you would usually not do uh, but if you have any of those case when you're the, the whole grid is working in the hospital near please go to the hospital right away because those are can be very seriously and cause death as well so cellulitis it's basically a redness and so here as you can see it was a bug bite uh, and uh, that was six hours after and then 30 hours later uh, so you can see that it can spread pretty quickly those are the signs and symptoms but one of the major one that you need to um, pay attention to is increased warmth over the skin it is unlikely to be cellulitis so basically uh, you take the back of your hand because it's more sensitive you touch the, your leg outside or whatever you know the skin so if you have like the red mark you go on the red mark and then you go outside and if you feel a little bit more warm over there most likely it's cellulitis especially if it has all those other stuff over there those are the different cause uh, as you can see there's two thirds of the case that is uh, strepto and uh, one third is staphylococcus uh, uh, there's different divisions and the importance of the division over here is that to uh, recognize that only class one patients so that don't so show any signs of systemic toxicity are the ones that can be treated uh, with oral antibiotics and so all the other ones need to require IV antibiotics so that's why I was mentioning that even during a disaster if you have any of those things uh, and you're like in the other class you need to go into uh, any treatment facilities that would be in place. Uh, Vibrio uh, basically, it's a, a bacteria that lives in the same category as cholera. That's what it kind of looks like. And basically, it's when your skin gets in, exposed, mostly from seawater. Um, it's mostly stuff that lives in uh, seafood. Uh, and uh, basically it comes and uh, shows that so um, this one can be very dangerous. Uh, it can even lead to amputation or even death. Um, so you need antibiotics right away. So if you ever see that one, my my approach would be go to a facility, even like they're over um, over treated and everything. During uh, Katrina, there was a few cases of that. So uh, and I think like a lot of them died because they didn't go to the treatment very quickly. The ones that went to uh, treatment right away, they were able to survive. Because even the problem with this is that once it reach a certain uh, point of no return, uh, you will die even if you get uh, antibiotics and stuff because there's just the body cannot cope anymore um, lepto this is one that is kind of surprising not many people talk about it but yet it's pretty common if uh, well it can be very common with things that happens even without a disaster something can happen it's like right here was a um, adventure racing and uh, when they got into water that's uh, what they got they got to see and so basically the animal reservoir for that is uh, rodent rats dog livestock wild animals and cats and basically this is how it happened is that their uh, urine most likely goes into the water and then you get in contact with the water and then you get your infection uh, this is the um, the sign and symptoms of it and this is the risk factor of it uh, and the prevention basically is that if you're going to be in contact with water or be working in contacts or near water basically wearing protective clothes or um, if you do get in contact with it just basically wash it up with a lot of water and uh, kind of take a shower and that uh, and uh, spray like water uh, like they use they like to say um, the um, uh, the solution to pollution is dilution so uh, I would do that a lot uh, radiation wound decon uh, the important the reason I want to uh, mention about it is that basically when you clean somebody so if they were in radiation um, 
whatever for whatever reason they got in contact with some radiation and I'll have a link down of um, a series that talks about that um, is that the water itself remain contaminated so you have to treat the water as even or even more dangerous than the persons themselves so uh, if you're cleaning that water that water has to be uh, disposed uh, very safely and with all the precaution that comes with it um, talking about uh, dressings here so the the reason that I'm talking about the AG is that they can uh, show that they um, they fight a lot of different infection and there's not a lot of resistance to it as as yet and so uh, and you can see here yeast uh, anaerobic anaero uh, anaerobic um, bacteria so if I would have an infections like this and I don't know or if I see a rash of some sort of true one of those AG and then it could probably slow down if not uh, cure um, help like the treatment of, of some infection with it and so by doing that you could probably win a few days or two by the time you get to a, a treatment center uh, the use of uh, antibiotics two mnemonics here nerds and stones and the reason is that the nerds one is that means that the infection so um, the infection uh, that means first the wound is infected uh, so that nerds is that it's only the wounds it's not uh, systemic and stone mean that it got a little bit past the, the wounds and it's now systemic uh, antibiotic versus AG here's a, a case study that have shown that sometime um, uh, it, you need a multidisciplinary approach meaning that not only antibiotics by itself but with some AG you can treat better wounds and again by that nerds and so you decrease the, the load over there and so it helps the body to fight that infection better and so that would be my approach uh, with it if you do have antibiotics but at least even by starting the AG and then going to a facility you would have uh, win yourself a little bit better and to finish basically what I would like to talk about is the tetanus get your tetanus shot or else that's one thing that could arrive if you get any uh, uh, infection uh, from uh, a wound like even not infection but just even cutting yourself or something uh, you could get that and so basically it's a shot that you get and it's good for 10 years and so if you didn't get yours it would be good prevention or else that's a condition that could happen so anyway, that was the shorty for uh, Wound Care and Disaster, and I'll talk to you soon.